Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust a water regulating valve for any air conditioning or refrigeration system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In this video, we're gonna go over water regulating valves and how to adjust them. Just a heads up, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. This is specifically a two-way water regulating valve. As you see, we only have two connections. Please pay attention to the arrow, this is important. And water regulating valves are used in water cooled air conditioning and refrigeration systems to basically maintain the head pressure. And at the same time, the way we do that is by regulating the amount of water that we let go through this control. Water enters from here and exits through here. So we have a water circuit. And at the same time, if we follow this capillary tube, this connection here is going to get connected to the high side of your AC or refrigeration system and by adjusting the water flow, we can adjust the head pressure of your system. To adjust the water regulating valve is quite simple and we're gonna go over how to do that and the effect it has on the system. One thing to pay attention to is this spring and the next thing is gonna be the stem here. If we pay attention to the top of this valve, we're gonna notice this stem and this is what is going to adjust our control and as we adjust, it's important to pay attention to your spring. To adjust your water regulating valve, you're gonna either turn the stem clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on where you want your system to be at. So as we adjust this, we adjust the water flow, and at the same time, we're gonna adjust the head pressure in our system. To make the adjustment, as you can see, we could use a flat head screwdriver, but I would recommend a refrigeration wrench. Those are always the best or some sort of ratcheting wrench as we have here, just to make your life easier. We always wanna pay attention to where the spring is relative to the top of the valve. Right now, the spring is at the top of the valve, meaning we have the water open as much as possible. And in return, we're gonna have the lowest head pressure. As the spring is up, that means that we have the lowest possible pressure that we can adjust to for the high side of our system. And as we bring the spring down, we're gonna be restricting the water flow and in return, bringing the head pressure up. So when the spring is up, head pressure goes down. When the spring is down, head pressure goes up. In this case, we can see our spring is all the way to the top of the valve, meaning we have the water open as much as possible. And this is the lowest setting we can have as far as our head pressure. And by doing this, we're gonna turn clockwise. If we wanna increase the head pressure, we're gonna to wanna to bring the stem down and we're gonna spin the stem counterclockwise. So pay attention. We're gonna adjust the stem on top of this valve and pay attention to the spring. We're gonna go counterclockwise. And by doing this, we're gonna be bringing the spring down, restricting the water flow and therefore increasing the head pressure. If you pay attention to the spring, you can now see that we have a gap here. So this spring is down, meaning we have restricted the water flow. And in this case, we brought the head pressure up. Now to adjust it the other way, we're gonna go clockwise on the stem and bring the spring up and therefore we will bring the head pressure down. We have now went the other way and the spring is up, meaning we just lowered the head pressure. So let's just do a quick review over this valve here. So pretty much we're gonna make our adjustments here. As far as going clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the spring, that might be specific to your valve, but pretty much make all your adjustments here and pay attention to your spring. When the spring is up relative to the top of the valve, our pressure is gonna be at our lowest. And as, and as we turn this adjustment knob, we're gonna bring the spring down, increasing arm pressure. So spring down, increase pressure. Spring up, decrease pressure. And at the same time, we're gonna be increasing or decreasing the water flow, which 
will give us that effect. So if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.